All right, guys, welcome to another episode of F1 2015 Zero to Hero Career Mode in 2014 cars, as per usual. And we're at round 17 of the US Grand Prix, our uh, sort of last towards the end of the season. And as you know, guys, if you've watched the last episode, if you haven't watched the last episode, please check it out. But we dropped out of the championship running. So we can't win the championship this season, unfortunately, in season one in 2014 cars, which is a shame. Also, couldn't do much more. But at the US Grand Prix, I mean, we can still have an impact of what the championship can bring, who can win championships between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton, like it was in real life, I suppose. We can have that impact this season. Um, and, yeah, let's see, I mean, literally, we've got nothing to lose in these next three rounds. We've got to try and go up with a bang, and, yeah, just hopefully, you know, things go right. But here we go, into the last sector. Do we want to do our fastest lap in the United States we've gone around the US? And the car, straight off, felt really, well... Didn't feel particularly brilliant to drive. I mean, I, I didn't really enjoy the way it fit on the steering. I found almost like real life because last year's car was described as being very slippery, almost very understeery and uh, more about top speed and, and grip. So we're going to go into our flying lap here, and you'll notice a lot of times that I'll understeer in corners. I literally just don't. I, I don't know what it is. It's just the way the car feels to me. It didn't feel right. Actually, my, this is my first run around the US in this car because every single trip that I do. It's like the first one, I don't do any practice for them, I have to go straight into it. But here we go into the, the first sector here, and we'll see, you know, this is back to the Mike Inspector session here. We go left, and then right, and then left again, and then, and then fourth gear here, and we actually, she can't carry a lot of speed through that, and I find like, I had to wait a long time to get like the, the, the best amount of ex entry speed, and you just, they don't feel pretty good here, and um, here you'll see a pretty naughty, you know, an extender actually, I thought we were going to extend like normal. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, here we go down to about second gear here, it's quite a tough corner to get and you, need, and you can get a lot of oversteer through so you want to get the best extra down this back straight here at the gearbox we go climbing at the gearbox pretty quickly and this should be hitting around about 200 miles per hour mark pretty easily let's see where we get in terms of um, MPH, we get about 200 and 212 miles per hour down to second gear here we clip the apex, we get a little bit of oversteer and not too bad though, we lose a little bit more track than usual because of the oversteer we get uh, and then just took it into this quite tight section here. This is where the Williams just struggle a lot. Uh, but not so bad so far actually. And then the second gear here, very tight corner here. And we clip it pretty nicely and go a little bit off the track. Not too bad though. And then double right hand here. Almost reminds me of Turkey, Turkey double right hand there. Not too bad. I'd lift off quite quite a lot there actually. Just try and get any turn and literally go off the track there because of the understeer. And then the fourth gear here. And again, we got off the track. I'm sorry for that, guys. It's pretty naughty because it's literally struggled with understeer. And, I'm sorry, that's pretty dirty for me. Anyway, um, and it comes across the line now for 139. And where should that put us in qualifying? We'll see where we go. And we go in P1 for the race tomorrow. We start on pole position for the US Grand Prix. Let's hope we can win another race of the season. And that'd be good. Let's see what we can do in the race. And just cutting on to the race, literally, my recording just cut out. So I couldn't actually sh show you what happened in the start. But basically, uh, I had a really bad start, a lot of walks been like normal, Rosberg and Hamilton took me and I went in, in the middle of them and I went on the inside and basically took the lead of the Grand Prix again. Um, but sorry guys, I don't know what keeps happening to my recording, it keeps cutting out all the time and it just, I just can't give you the starts anymore and it's, like, it's been like a long time since I've been able to show you the starts because of the cutout and I don't know what keeps happening, so I might have changed something in the recording for you guys. But anyway, let's move on from that, let's continue about focus on the race here and we're leading the way. From Hamilton from Rosberg, and as you know, Hamilton versus Rosberg this season for the title. Obviously, we're out of the title race, nothing to lose here. We want to win this Grand Prix, but if we can impact the championship in any way, that'd be good. We've got like after this, two more rounds after this race. So, obviously, Hamilton's going to try and fight back. He's actually in the championship right now. So, at the moment, we've got to try and do what we can. Not, I mean, obviously, we want to beat the two Mercedes boys, but if they get past us, we can't pretty much have a fight. I mean, ideally, don't take, got to take out any of them, just live into their own battle. We are um, leading Lewis Hamilton, but I find at the moment that AI actually are keeping up with us in this race. It shows me that, it's telling me that qualifying was very good in the Williams, but the race pace isn't there. And, um, yeah, just going to try and keep it with here. But actually, throughout this race, the tire wear, the tire was so terrible. The amount of tire wear we had was ridiculous. And literally, just um, so left, two, two lefts here coming up. And the last corner, uh, another left hander. And the second game, we complete our first lap. But look at it, the two Mercedes boys are right there with us. And they'll be fancying their chances in this race. We haven't got this race to completely to our advantage yet. I mean, we can still win this, but look at that Hamilton's in our system. But we're going to catch us right now. Down the second gear right here once again. Clip the apex, do we? Yes, we do. And literally, at this point, I was struggling with grip. I couldn't turn it in as well as I could have done. And the performance of the car was literally skipping with the pace. And going around this mechanism section once again here. And the car feels very understeery at the moment. It just didn't feel as planted as I would like. 
Uh, but not too bad so far. And then click the apex there, not too bad. And then on the third gear, just trying to hug it in here. Literally, how much on this tier I get? Have a look and I go, oh, not too bad actually. But look, Lewis Hampton's right there with us. Um, he's gonna be chasing, might, might even pass his chances into this next um, straight here. I'll look up a little bit, not too bad. Can get a pretty good exit. Yes, we, oh yeah, an IK okay exit. It wasn't that good, but Lewis Hampton's right there with us. He's have a slipstream on us. Whether or not we can actually, whether or not he can get past us, we don't know. Let's see what happens. He'll have some good drop speed, a good tie, but no, we're not going to give him the slipstream. And we keep first place for now. But next time around, when the DRS comes into action, maybe. We're gonna be more in the threat because of the DRS zones and all that stuff around the circuit. You know, we've got long, we've got like two longer straights around here, so and they will have a good chance to try and get past us very soon. And we're going to uh, the, sort of the end of the second lap here. We're gonna try and perfect it, um, but literally tires were just going off so much around here. I don't know what it was. Literally tire wear was pretty bad in Williams compared to the cars that I've driven this season. Um, and literally the lift off so much through there. And Hampton's right there with us. I think the air had to go so for the three. We've got the advantage in sector um, one and um, three, so that's not too bad. But then last one now, we're gonna try and get a good exit here. Um, and again, a little bit of overstay there. And this thing we'll do across the line, we actually go slower than our first lap that we did. Uh, it just shows how much drop off of pace we have, and Ricardo's even gone faster than that. So it just shows our tire weight is pretty poor right now, and we can't get the performance out of the car we want to. And Hampton, look, he's looking you know, pretty feisty right now, so he'd be looking for any chance to get past us. Um, coming into this um, third lap, but you know, we never know what could happen really. Uh, I mean, DRS does actually play a you know, big part of the role in the running track, you know, so much overtaking can be done. Uh, we're just struggling with understanding, I mean, we've got to park the bus, we're going to have to literally park the bus to even think about winning this race, obviously. Uh, and you know, it's just such a difficult, it's just difficult to keep the car on the track when it's understeering. I mean, the car has a lot of understeering anyway, but when you have tyre wear, tyre problems, it becomes even more worse. And that's going to become to lap four. Nothing really happened. He didn't even get past us. But Rosberg got past Hamilton because Hamilton probably had an attempt to get past us but didn't make it stick. We're going into the last lap now, and this should get pretty tight tasty now. We're on even more worn tyres than we were before. And look, Rosberg's missing his chances. Does he go for it? Mm, he's quite close to working to lock up a little bit more. Try and hold him. We did, he did tip the bully briefly there, and we actually got back into first place. But Hamilton's now followed me through, and he's got the second place. Uh, and that's a big battle between them two for the championship. So it doesn't matter where Hamilton comes in comparison to Rosberg. Um, but we are keeping hold of P1 for now. Obviously, we've got a long way to go still in this lap. Um, tires are getting worse and worse as we progress through this, um, uh, this circuit for the last time. And just going on third gear here. Let's see how much own, own the steer we get. We get quite a lot. We have to go off the track. It shows how much understeer we get. Hampton's right there with us. We're looking for a good chance to try and get past us. And what do we do? Do we defend? No, he's not close enough. But this is the next time. This back straight is where we can have a good advantage. And look how much understeer. Again, couldn't turn in for again and just struggle with gripping out the rich mix trying to defend from Hamilton now. He's going to have DRS. We want to defend. Obviously, not giving the sip stream because that's what we don't want to have. We don't want him having a sip stream as well because that will give him even more time. But Rich is in Rich now. We'll go up to stand in the mix and see what happens. And he's gone for it. Oh my god, how close that was. And try and get up the inside of the Hamilton. Yes, we do. He will park it. I mean, not Hamilton a little bit out there, but Rosberg's there now. And he's going around the outside. But no, he's not being able to make it stick. And Lewis, I think, has. Oh, what's happened through that? Lewis has now followed through back up. So it's been basically the same order as it was before this ever happened. The Mercedes would have been very aggressive to us at the end of this race. We are struggling so much in our tyres. We're struggling to keep it on the track or anything like that. And we're doing what we can. Double right hander once again. And literally, this is going to be so hard to keep hold of the car. The understeer is agonisingly hard to keep hold of now. I and mean, last two corners now. And we're keeping the two Mercedes boys behind. The, the pit lane, the guys in the pit lane are trying to let us pit. But we're not going to do that. Our tyres are that worn. The last corner now. Here we come. We are going to win the US Grand Prix. Leading the train home of cars and that's an amazing race from us Whew. that was amazing guys we won the race our fourth race wins the season that's amazing to beat the two mercedes boys obviously their championship is still hotting up right now we're obviously out of contention but we had no one to lose there we won the race and that's amazing just to win the race of the us grand prix guys that's an amazing result for us and uh just for williams and for our championship as well just keeping on a p3 but guys i hope you enjoyed the video um um, please leave, leave us a like, subscribe for, for more ways of content on this channel, obviously. A lot more content coming on my channel in the future. Um, well, obviously, a lot of F1 content, and uh, yeah, just uh, thanks for watching. It's just really, really nice for you guys to actually you know, like my videos, or you know, like, I'm really happy with the amount of feedback I'm getting. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. The championship standings will be after the race results, so be sure to catch that at the end of the video so you'll see championship, updated championship results as of the US Grand Prix. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.